of this night and for this day.
dropped off at school and watched my family drive away, and everything seemed so new and uh, big to me. Uh, my older brother was there, and uh, I thought it was really cool how he was uh, so excited to see all his friends who he hadn't seen all summer. I was a little bit nervous about the year coming up, but after being around a couple hours and seeing all the guys and the great friendship that they shared, I was really encouraged and hoped that I could share the same friendship. Cause they all but the people and all the faculty here made it so much easier to get used to St. Grace. Yeah, I arrived just at the beginning of soccer season, so we started with soccer camp, and I played soccer for a while, and my cousin was there, and he's played soccer. And it really was a, an easy transition for me because I love the sport and playing with a lot of guys made it really easy to get used when to. When I first got to St. Gregory's, uh, the older guys uh, helped me move into my room. I mean, you feel really at home. They were all helping out. I uh, got stuff from my car and brought it in. But all the people in my class, since they had all just gotten there, talking together with them and just finding out about uh, like where they came from and stuff was really helpful because it made me feel like someone else was going through the same stuff. Definitely, uh, right after our first like soccer practice, I guess you could call it. Just right after that, some of the guys came and told me that they were really glad I was here, and uh, they started t telling me about their experiences at St. Greg's, and I just knew I was going to be really comfortable here. As our culture becomes increasingly irreligious, the need grows for the establishment of Catholic schools that are faithful to their mission. And that mission should be the formation of the young by the perennial wisdom and faith of the church relying always, of course, on God's abundant graces. To meet this end, the Priestly Fraternity of St. Peter founded St. Gregory's Academy 15 years ago. St. Gregory's is a boarding school for boys grade 9 through 12 located in Elmhurst, Pennsylvania. It offers a classical liberal arts education within the Catholic, spiritual, and intellectual tradition. Fraternity priests reside at the academy and serve as chaplains offering the traditional Latin Mass daily to our boys, and they participate closely in the sacramental, social, and educational life of the Academy. The building where St. Gregory's is established is the former St. Nicholas Orphanage founded in the 20s and operated previously by the Diocese of Scranton. The facility rests on 190 acres of property in the Pocono Mountains and boasts our home sports field, camping sites, trails through fields and woods, and even an old orphanage cemetery. In this setting, young men are removed from any of the distractions of modern culture, enabling them to focus their attention on the eternal things of this world, namely, the good, the true, and the beautiful. These realities are the motto of our school and direct our entire educational goal. The product of Christian education is what Pope Pius XI called the supernatural man, the man who feels, judges, and acts in accordance with right reason, enlightened by the example and teaching of Jesus Christ. The educational methods of St. Gregory's Academy seek to unite this supernatural end to the natural order by coordinating all human activities with the spiritual life. To achieve this coordination, the school's philosophy of education is ordered to the whole child. The education that we offer at St. Gregory's takes into consideration a young man's capacity for the faith, for the arts, and for his ability to develop reflective habits of mind. And so the daily routine includes the holy sacrifice of the mass, the recitation of the rosary, and a balanced series of academic courses. The course of studies at St. Gregory's is quite demanding. However, we welcome students of varying abilities, and we have a faculty who provide assistance to help each student succeed. At St. Gregory's, we place great emphasis on the relationship between students and teachers as a species of friendship. And so teachers are expected to observe and work with the strengths and the weaknesses of each student in their care. And the students, in a spirit of respect and charity, are expected to cooperate with their teachers in the learning process. Therefore, in the students who come to St. Gregory's, we wish for good hearts as much as good minds. St. Gregory's offers all students an extensive and required course of Latin studies, which is essential for full participation in the liturgical life of the school, 
and it facilitates a deeper understanding of English language and grammar as well. During the first years, reading good books delights the soul and provides food for the imagination. The study of literature offers an indirect experience of the world and the effects of moral virtue and vice while serving to stimulate the initial reflections of a young mind on questions central to the human condition. Students also learn poetry by heart through the oral method of repetition and recitation. St. Gregory's curriculum includes four years of science study which emphasize biology, astronomy, geology, and physics. We stress the importance of the direct experience of nature and we make good use of the school's large property to develop observational skills and foster a healthy respect for the created order. Seniors study the sciences from the ancient Greeks through the founding of Newtonian physics. Mathematics begin freshman year with Algebra 1 and conclude junior year with Algebra 2. In the meantime, the sophomores take up the study of geometry through Euclid's elements. The good books give way to the greatest works of Western civilization in the humanities program. These classes emphasize classical authors and epic works both literary and historical. So that, that's the picture. You have to remember, you know, Virgil is a, uh, he is a poet who is very close to the earth. He has, he has a great affinity to, to farming. So that's the picture. Of course, there are some other pictures here, too, because it's a crimson flower. So, of course, the crimson, if you're talking about Euryalus, what would the crimson make you think of? Yeah. Blood. Blood. Okay, so we have, we have this blood. And, of course, the passing plow, plow is a metal instrument, that would be an image of sword. a sword. A sword. Okay, so it's working on a couple of different levels. All right, we have the farming image, then we have, we see kind of the application to this particular soldier and at the moment of his death. Rhetoric class includes studies in writing and speaking, as well as learning the art of expression with the end of leading another to the good. Logic class centers on an examination of the principles of reasoning and an introduction to philosophy through the writings of Plato, Aristotle, and St. Thomas Aquinas. At St. Gregory's, music is given its due as a profound means to form character. Students learn to sing traditional folk songs by a purely oral method. Instruction in sacred music is also provided in natural conjunction with the liturgical seasons. There is also a well-organized athletics program. The St. Gregory's Highlanders compete with area schools in soccer and rugby in addition to intramural sporting activities and structured physical education. All the virtues and morals that are taught to us by uh, the staff are exemplified in our sports on the field. It gives us an opportunity to live out what we've been taught in the classrooms and the different virtues like uh, perseverance, you know, when you're up one to nothing or down one to nothing. You, know, you always keep trying, it doesn't matter what, you go to the end. I think that rugby is a really important sport for us to play because uh, we're a pretty small school and we go up against a lot of bigger guys in, in different club teams and it teaches us how to be really tough and, and we get a really a real sense of camaraderie. My favorite uh, moment in the soccer season was definitely when we won District A champions. It was just a great sense of joy and excitement in the whole team, the whole school because we'd never even gone as far as winning a playoff game and here we are, a school of 53 students and we won District. Christ is the center of absolutely everything we do here. Our motto is in fact the good, the true, and the beautiful, and we mean it in reference to our Lord. Everything we do points towards Jesus Christ, who is goodness, truth, and beauty. The students receive not only formal religious education in the Catholic faith, but also the chance to practice the faith, to live the virtues, and to serve God and neighbor in an environment permeated by Catholicism. Community life is an extraordinary opportunity to practice virtue. It is, of course, impossible without prayer, and prayer and Mass are central to our daily routine at St. Gregory's. The boys have morning and evening prayers, prayers before and after classes, prayers before and after meals, 
prayers before and after games. They have daily community rosary, the Angelus. They learn to serve at the Tridentine Mass and how to sing Gregorian chant. They take part in the liturgical processions throughout the year, weekly adoration and benediction, all-night adoration each quarter. It's a full schedule, and prayer is part of all of it. St. Gregory's is making a real contribution to the Church today. The Church, the country, and the world need a new generation of Catholic-minded leaders and workers, and St. Gregory's provides formation for such men, establishing a foundation upon which great things can be built. An education reaches its perfection when it gives a young person an integrated vision of God and his world. There is a children's rhyme by Robert Louis Stevenson that goes, The world is so full of a number of things, I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. Philosophic happiness comes from not only recognizing the wonder of all the things around us, but also understanding their respective value and their mutual dependence. We hope to provide a young man an education that is permeated with the love of learning for its own sake, and in the process to deepen his faith, and to develop in him mental and moral virtues, and to let him acquire a taste for the best that has been thought and said through the ages. All this in the light of our Catholic faith which illuminates our entire program. I think St. Gregor's is a great place because Everybody goes there with the same idea, and um, they try to live it out. And the idea is to, you know, everything towards God, trying to, you know, m get yourself to heaven and then take as many people as possible with you. If someone was to ask me why they should go to St. Gregory's, I'd say that you get to make some of the best friends you'll ever have in your life and live with them day in and day out in a really great Catholic environment. My name is Carlo Barrera and I'm a freshman at St. Gregory's Academy. My name is Christopher Ardino and I'm a sophomore at St. Gregory's Academy. My name is Andrew McNeely and I'm a junior at St. Gregory's Academy. My name is Zach Bateman and I'm a senior at St. Gregory's Academy.
when chains could not bring that. Right.